everybody, welcome back to the Insights of Collector. It is Library Showcase Thursday, which means I recommend a book to you all from my personal library. Welcome to those of you who have never been here before, and welcome back to those of you avid readers who love to hear my suggestions. So today's suggestion is Pet Cemetery, and I feel like this is a really, really nice novel to read for upcoming holiday reasons because October is almost here. I know it's still a whole month away, but I'm so excited because the spooky season is here. So I recommend Pet Cemetery for all of you readers who want something spooky in their life. If you've already read it, read it again. If you've only seen the movie, I definitely recommend that you read this book because there is always so much that goes into the book that you don't get to see in the movie, they don't get to experience because a lot of times they have to cut things out for personal reasons or for not personal reasons but reasons to make the movie just go a lot quicker and this is not too much of a heavy read it is a small novel and I feel like you could take this to work and read on your lunch break you can read it on your ride home if you are on the bus or something or in a taxi uber whatever and I really think that this is a really fun creepy read if you're not into gore and stuff I recommend a different book and I will try to find a different spooky book for all of you who aren't really into the stylings of Stephen King but I personally adore him I am going to read the synopsis to you all so that you can get an idea of what this book is about the road in front of Dr. Lewis Creed's rural main home frequently claims the lives of neighborhood pets. Lewis has, has recently moved from Chicago to Ludlow with his wife Rachel, their children, and a pet cat. Near their house, local children have created a cemetery for all the dogs and cats killed by the steady stream of transports on the busy highway. Deeper in the woods lies another graveyard, an ancient Indian burial ground whose sinister properties Lewis discovers when the family cat is killed. So guys, that is the synopsis of this book and I love it already. Like I've been reading this book since like last month and I've really been enjoying myself. Of course it's creepy and horrifying and if cemeteries really like get your spooky going on the inside that makes you really excited then this book is definitely for you but that's just my personal opinion of course I will be making a recommendation that's not as gory for those of you who aren't really into this kind of stuff but still want something in the supernatural realm to read during the Halloweeny time so that's just my suggestion for this Thursday because I really love how how well written this is and I, I'm so excited to get to this one part because I saw this little um, meme that had to do with one of the family members getting killed in the movie and them talking about how it's so much more horrific in the book. Don't want to give away too much but I absolutely adore how the doctor, um, the main character I guess, is written. He is a little creepy. He seems to be a really normal guy and then like he starts talking about his family at the beginning and how they're annoying him and you really like, this guy kind of makes you concerned for the way he feels about his family at that moment. Of course everybody has those moments where they're just like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna kill you all, but then the way he talks about just Oh man, like, okay, just read it yourself, guys. I don't want to give away too much, but I really hope you check this out. If you have read this book, please let me know in the comments below what you think or what books you would recommend to me that kind of pertain to Stephen King novels in a way that is really frightening but psychologically creepy because I adore books like that. And if you have any suggestions that aren't spooky that you would like me to read, you can also let me know about those in the comments below because I love to read and I read almost anything. So thanks so much for watching guys. I really appreciate you all being here with me today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Bye!